What's the gap in between a bit more caution and true weakening, given that this is two straight months and, and pretty negative downward revisions as well? Yeah, the, the downward revision is, is disconcerting because it, it sounds to me like that the, uh, the control group now is essentially flat over the last couple of months. And had been weakening before that as well in terms of the growth rate. So this is beginning to be start to look like an entrenched softening. I mean, not a rollover. You know, it's it's not a disaster by any means, but it's very different to what we saw last year. Remember, the second half of last year, we're looking at constant upside surprises and and the consumers charging along at three percent real through the whole second half of the year. We're not going to do anything like that in the first half of of this year. And I think a part of the reason here is is um, as well as the labor market weakening, which is, which is definitely real, you can see in the surveys that people are getting nervous about job security for the first time in this cycle, but they've also got less cash flow. You know, real income growth after tax is a lot lower than it was this time last year. Payroll growth is, is lower, wage growth is lower. There's just less cash around. And so people are just being a little bit more cautious at the margin. If, if you're a bit more cautious at the margin for a few months, it starts to build into something real. And what it really speaks to me is if we have this price fatigue, is do corporates have pricing power anymore? We have seen some yeah. of those margins start to thin. So if we're in a world where corporates are having thinning margins, you don't have that labor constraint that you once did. Mm. Is this, as Ian Hots, uh, as Jan Hotzius over at Goldman Sachs says, an inflection point for the labor market? It's an inflection point for the labor market for sure, but it's also an inflection point for the inflation story as well. Because that margin expansion that we saw during the pandemic and, and in the year afterwards was a huge driver of the increase in inflation. And most businesses have held on to those margins, but if they're starting to crumble now, so we're actually seeing them come down rather than just hang around the highs, if we start to see them come down, it really does change the inflation picture because it was a really big part of the inflation story that's not kind of widely appreciated, but it's why I think core inflation next year goes below the Fed's target because of margin compression, and it's just beginning to creep in.